Hi everybody, today we're going to do an unboxing of Hyper Tough HT Charge with a 20 volt max 20 amp hour battery. Well, I will highly recommend if you want to use this more, um, get a 4 amp hour battery. Usually they go for like $55, just give me a heads up if you want to run longer. But if you don't want to waste extra money, just grab an extension cord. Um, so here we got a cordless job site fan, a 7.5 inch. Hi hybrid powered AC DC high and low speed settings hooker keyhole mounting options requires AC cord for hybrid power not included and it comes with a three year limited warranty okay so let's start unboxing we'll do and see what we get let's see what we have So here we got the fan, obviously, the fan side, the owner's manual, pretty big honestly, you also get a charger, and the batteries, okay, and I'm guessing this must be where the charger is going to do that, here we got the battery, 20 amp, or 2 amp, sorry, and power with doesn't look like a battery indicator anywhere kind of odd and the charger charge is kind of pretty cheap in my opinion Let's see. Take off the bag off the fan. All of them are good direction. Here we are. We have the fan. Facing upwards. We can tilt it frontwards. There we are. And give me a sec. Let me readjust. Okay, so here we are in front of the fan. You can see, it's pretty big, not too big, but you know, I can put it right next to my iPhone real quick. So you can see, here's the iPhone 15 Pro. Pretty big. And here we got a button, so I'm guessing what speed you want. And here we got the option of you can use a battery powered or, you know, a cord as well if you want to um i'm not seeing if it's mountable it, it does have like a little <clears throat> handle right here i don't see nowhere unless oh yeah and it, it is mountable if you want to mount it on the wall or something it gives you you know the size and everything three and a half inches And also has this hook in case you want to mount it on something else. That's nice. This guy costs like $75, which is not paying a lot of money. You can get a fan for like $20 to $30 or Harbor Freight if you're into the Hercules and the Bauer line. If you just want to get the fan and the battery, and they usually have offers for those fans and stuff. But let's see how this guy works. Let's see if the battery's charged. So we're gonna put it on one speed. Oh, decent well. Okay, that was a high speed. That was a high speed. Low. Kind of sounds weird, honestly. There's something in there. power for sure I'm noticing the fan has some teeth as you can see I think it's some case something goes in there I don't know if you can see at the angle but you can see it has teeth right here you can see I think so in case there's anything that wants to get tangled up in the fan I'll cut it up in pieces you know maybe cut hair or something but to me, it, sounds, it looks pretty good. It's just really pricey, in my opinion, $75. If you're in the line, that's fine. But 
If you're not, you know, this is a perfect way to get into the line. Um, $75 is a lot. I know the battery was like $50, so for a fan for $75 plus a two amp hour battery, I think the two amp hour battery goes to like 20, 25 maybe dollars. The fan must have cost $50, which is in my opinion too high, but if it lasts like the years it says, which is three years, then it's definitely worth it. So I'm gonna let this battery charge and we're gonna test out the cable real quick and see how that works. So here we are, we gotta look at the battery real quick. Here we are, we got the battery right here. You know, just a battery, you know, nothing too fancy here. Um, here is the charger, and I don't like these chargers because, you know, they're cheaply made and stuff. And to charge them, all you got to do is this. That's it. That charges it. The other ones, you know, they're on a stand. You can mount them anywhere. This one, you can't mount it. You have to have it on a table or something. So I'm going to let this charge. I'll be back in a couple seconds. We got the charger, and it's charging. Obviously, the battery, you can tell there. There we go, power on, battery charging, and battery fully charged. Right now it's charging, so to get some time to charge. There we are. And I mentioned this guy is really small, and I like these chargers because they just plug in like that, and they're really small. Alright, so let's go back. All right, so I'm leaving the battery charged, and while I was laying that charge, I was noticing something here in the, you know, in the owner's manual. It was saying that you can hang the little guy by a little piece of rope. Let me see if I can find it. There we are. Let's see, which I don't feel that safe, honestly. But I mean, that is an option. But I was thinking. I think it could fit on a 2x4. I'm going to try that here in a sec. So give me a sec. Okay, I got the 2x4. Let's give this a try. Which kind of got me a little sus. Let's see. It does. You can actually do it. I'm actually surprised. As you can see, it's a 2x4. You can put it on a 2x4. As long as it can fit in there you know but that is actually a pretty cool one i did not notice that it's like a hidden feature it didn't mention that in the owner's manual so you could put a two by four and if you want just so it won't fall off easily you can put a little screw here so it won't won't fall off you know if you leave it there forever or for a while you know i will highly do that i did not know that that's pretty cool that is something hidden and i was like thinking like while it's charging let's do that and you can also hide the hook so you know in case you're not using it there you go but that is actually pretty cool Okay, so I got the extension cord ready. We're gonna connect it. All right, let's connect it. Let's see if it works. It does. Feels like a little stronger with, you know, with the extension cord, but you know, if you wanna do it that way, you know, in case you don't wanna go and you wanna run it for hours, the extension cord will do it. But if you wanna run it with, um, Battery, that's a good option. That's why I like these type of tools. They're both powered, um, you know, battery powered and electricity powered, which is, you know, hybrid basically, which is way better in my opinion. I like that option where it gives you two options that you can use it instead of just that one option. As you'll see later down the road, um, if you like buying tools that are like that. Um, I do have a vacuum here that's both powered, battery powered and, you know, an outlet powered, also um, a light tower that does the same thing. The Milwaukee one, it does the same thing. I like these kind of tools that have both options. You don't have to run off of that the whole time. You're running off of this little outlet as well. All right. Well, thanks for watching and have a good day. And if you want to go something cheaper, um, try Bauer or Hercules. Those are way cheaper than this one. Um, Seventy-five dollars for this guy, and you can get those other two for like thirty dollars less. And still, sometimes they have the batteries on on the deal and stuff and all that. So, you know, I would highly recommend it. All right. Thanks for watching and have a good day. It is perfect for the summer heat as well. It's kind of hot where I am right now. Um, so, this is perfect. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And one more thing I forgot to mention. You can get this at Walmart. 
Um, usually you can't find it at Walmart, but you can look at their website and they have it there. I did have a little innocent, a little problem with them with, well not with Walmart, with FedEx that they delivered to the wrong house. Not on the same road either, not even close to my neighbors. And I didn't pick it up, so yeah, they're the worst. Yeah. Alright, well thanks for watching, have a good day. And just in case, we do have the little charger here fully charged. That's how it looks like when it's fully charged or when it's on standby. But when it's charging, it will have the red and the green. But just giving a heads up, that's how it will be.